Alright guys, just finished up my first Kayak Angler Tournament Series event, or CATS event. It was downtown Austin, Texas on Lady Bird Lake, and it was a great time. I think 133 uh, entries for this tournament, so definitely the biggest tourna tournament I've ever been a part of. And overall, just a, a really good time, great fish, really good fishermen down here, and uh, great people. So, uh, great experience. For me personally, I didn't do as well as I had hoped in the tournament. Um, definitely made some mistakes that I can build upon for future tournaments, but not the turnout I, I wanted or had hoped for. Um, I actually had a really good practice period pre-fishing. Um, I thought I was on a pretty good big fish pattern. I was actually punching reeds and heavy uh, vegetation in shallow water. And um, I, was getting, I wasn't getting a ton of bites, but I was getting big bites. And uh, that seemed to be my primary game plan for tournament day. And I had also marked, I think, about 15 fish on beds throughout the lake that, you know, was going to be my secondary plan. But anyway, here we are about to launch. Like I said, 133 entries. And this was a Roadrunner event, so I didn't have to launch from a specific site. You could launch anywhere on the lake uh, where there was public access. And uh, this first clip I'm going to show you um, is my second stop. It's within the first 30 minutes of the tournament. I was really excited about this spot because I had actually caught a fish um, from this spot uh, a week before, and it was it was kind of a, it was doing what I said my primary pattern was. It was punching shallow vegetation. Uh, caught the fish. Um, then I went and paddled towards where I put my bait to get that bite, and I found that I had accidentally punched right on top of a bed. So I put the fish right back there, and I was saving it for tournament day. Um, and you know, as luck would have it, I make you know my I think it was my third cast. I hook up. I'm pretty sure it's that fish. Jumps out of the water. It looks like the same fish, a nice five pounder, and uh, it spits the bait. So that kind of started my day off on a little bit of a, a sour note. But uh, you know, it actually kind of made me feel good too because I thought my pattern would still hold up. Unfortunately, that didn't happen or work out for me. I didn't get a single bite the rest of the day, punching shallow cover, so I had to revert to my backup plans, which was bed fishing and throwing a crankbait. And um, I, overall, I finished 29th with three scoreable fish. Um, I've got I got two of them off beds, and I got uh, the other one on a crankbait. Um, I lost a couple key fish um, on a crankbait, and then a uh, rodent, straight king rodent. Um, and I think I just tried to horse them in too much my own fault should have played them a little bit more um, but you know that that's fishing so it, it happens um, the only other thing I wish I had done differently on this day was spend less time on a particular bed fish so in this clip right here you'll see I catch a nice fish off a of bed it's the male and I probably spent a total of two hours trying to catch the female it looked to be about a seven pounder um, but it, you know, it was a waste of time. It was, uh, it was an uncatchable fish. She wasn't gonna bite. She wasn't even really irritated or agitated by, you know, me throwing a, a bait on her bed. So that's the only other thing I wish I could have got back. Um, but like, like I said, despite a little bit of bad luck, it was a, it was a great day, great tournament. Um, it's really fun. Looking forward to the next one on Lake Bastrop. I think it's March 14th. Um, the winner of this tournament, um, he, I think he got around 97 inches, which is, it's amazing. That's a great score. It's going to be hard to beat any day, so congrats to him. Um, and there was actually a uh, woman in the tournament who caught a 27-inch, 12-pound bass. So that was pretty awesome as well. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my tournament day. Um, great time, great fun, great people. And uh, my buddy Mark, uh, owner of Big Worm Productions, he's going to be putting out a, a, a video of the, the tournament itself. Uh, he does really great stuff, really great work. So once his video is out, I'll put a link in the description and you can check that out. But uh, anyways, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.